Next, let's talk about a book because I'm a big stupid person and I don't know how to read. And I only have one book and it's a very thin and quick read. It is called Animal Farm by George Orwell. Have you heard of it? This was a blast to read. I don't know how I made it this far into my life either without discovering Animal Farm. Animal Farm. On that note, actually, 2020 was a difficult year, but what a good year for media. I discovered Misfits, I discovered Seinfeld, and I discovered Animal Farm. That's a pretty outstanding year. Three amazing things were discovered this year. And a fourth thing that we're going to talk about shortly. But Animal Farm, if you don't know, I don't know why I am pronouncing it that way. Animal Farm. Farm. I swear I'm not from New York. Or am I? It's a book about, it's a story about communism. Critiquing communism through the lens of farm animals that speak, that interact with one another, that develop a commune. And there is something that makes it more consumable because if you were to be reading a history, a book about the founding of communism, it would be dense. It would be difficult to understand. If you're like me, it would be difficult to remember everybody's names. But in this, it's such a quick read. It gives you a general overview of some of the tenets of the communist founders. And I know there will be a communist or two reading this or watching this and typing in the comments. Uh, that's fiction, bro. That's not the history of communism. I understand, but there are some communist figureheads who are represented by characters in this book. And if you're just looking for a quick read, a quick critique of communism through fiction, it really was an enjoyable read. And I understand why this is such a prominent book, why it is, at least I think it used to be assigned in high school, I believe. 10 out of 10, recommend Animal Farm by George Orwell. It's almost like he knew what he was doing. And it's almost like people would should recommend this in schools. What a shocker.